Welcome everybody to 300 ELO low ELO legends. Jose Miguel. Hello, knock knock. Jose. Jose. Oh, oh, Jose's here. Okay, Jose. You know he had to. He wanted to go get a snack. Jose didn't realize that he was in queue and actually got a game. Uh, Jose Miguel is here playing as the Tootsins in the red. And like all players at this ELO, Age of Empires is a very difficult game. Here in the blue, we have Hernan, who's had the greater start. And uh, Hernan's name is so long, it covers my scoreboard. So I think what I'm going to do, not that there's actually a score here, is just we're just going to call him Hernan. So uh, we have a four-house box start for Hernan Espinosa Ramos. Very beautiful name, if that is his full name. Um... So, I encourage you guys to remember that at this ELO, these players probably don't watch videos. They probably don't watch streams. They probably haven't practiced a lot. They probably don't have hotkeys. They most definitely do not have build orders. It's very possible that their monitors have it zoomed in like this when they play. I've done that before back in the day. It's very possible that their system has them zoomed out like this when they play. All right? They're... There's aspects of being a noob that we forget about. And so I just like to get the reminder in as we have the box four houses that we're trying to break into their mindset and remember what it was like when we were here. I know most of the people in my chat right now will always be stuck here. But uh, the other people who might have moved on past this, first off, congratulations. Uh, we'll see what happens. So, um... Cummins is a sieve I really want to see in low elo because they they are very unique. You can make a second town center in Feudal Age, unlike any other sieve. You can also make a Siege Workshop and Rams in Feudal Age, unlike any other sieve. So, there was one time, and I think it has something to do with Goths in the title, but it was a Golden Swamp game in low elo. This was over a year ago, but it was so amazing I still remember it. And I remember this dude playing Cummins sent a villager out and just left it in the corner for like five minutes in feudal. And I was, <laughs> I was really confused about it. And then he made a town center in the very corner. Do you guys remember that game? Anyone? What's Red up to? Reddit is Red auto scouting. Oh my! We are four minutes into the game and Red is auto scouting already. Now. There was a lot of controversy when Auto Scout came in. A lot of people who play this game were like, they're trying to make it too easy for people. But then I realized how poor. Blue is Auto Scouting too! It's an Auto Scout duel! Oh my god! But, anyways, what I'm getting at here is listen, these guys are not very good at the game. They might not ever wish to improve at the game. Scouting is an important aspect, and many people just forget about it otherwise. I think Auto Scout is actually. A very good addition to the game. If high level players could do it and it would have an impact positively, then that would be a problem. But this is no big deal because it's scouts. Are they scouting the same path? <laughs> what? Oh my god. They somehow synced up their scouting. Dude, go this way. Oh my word. If they follow each other for the rest of the game, this would be amazing. It does seem like they are taking slightly different paths, but holy moly. Anyways, the scout always starts at the right corner, so that's how you kind of know. Uh, speaking of scouting, why does Red have a vill here? Okay, Red's been chopping straggler trees for wood. Red's missing some sheep. I would suggest at least finding your resources before you auto scout. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, sir. Hey, sir, where are you going? What are you doing with these people? Are you looking for sheep? Up. Oh. What? Yo, I chop straggler trees. Still jaked, 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 jaked. So we get the 300 evil players to the point where they make lumber camps, but they make the lumber camp outside of the city. Interesting. All right, all right, listen, I'm not going to judge. I'm going to try and get into the mindset of the player. And my guess is, if the enemy comes a-knocking, the villagers won't be chopping. They're going to be outside of the city. So, this is the best way to protect your people. 
All right, what's blue up to? Okay, we have a mill on the berries. We had lumber camp early, which makes me think Hernan is the more experienced player. We have a barracks now. And boars were brought in. The sheep are next to the houses. Um, and auto scouts are still doing their thing in different areas of the map. Good news for Red. Red was able to find the sheep and is going to bring the sheep home. And good news for us, this matchmaking is incredible. These guys have very similar TC idle time. And uh, this lady's like, I want that ostrich all to myself. Yeah. <laughs> this is T90. This is T90's girlfriend. She doesn't like to share food. <laughs> Don't clip that. <laughs> Don't clip that and send it to her. But <laughs> she, she's not a big fan of sharing food. I, it's something I learned pretty... She said, do you know that episode of Friends... Joey doesn't share food. This is like our second date. I'm like, yeah. She goes, that's me. I said, oh, okay. And I thought it was funny, you know, but no, it's real. She doesn't like it. He does not like it. Okay, so blue should go feudal now. Nice. Okay, blue's going feudal. He's chopped down all of the stragglers. <laughs> it just looks so silly. It is rather organized, which is somewhat satisfying, but... Uh, that's funny to me. As we see a militia queued. Okay, so what does Blue see? Auto Scout still has not found the enemy. Auto Scout is just scouting the other areas of the map. What about Red? Nope, still hasn't found the enemy. Uh, Red doesn't have the food to go feudal age. Um, did Red take two boars? No, didn't take this boar. I think Red. it's going to dawn on Red. Oh, my villagers don't have a job here in just a second. Let's see. Wait for it. Yup, yup, yup. There he is. Okay, it's like, okay, I gotta look around. Where is it? Boom. Boar. Alright, so they're taking boars. Chopping wood. It bothers me these villagers have to walk all the way out here, but that's fine. Uh, but blue... You would think blue wants to be aggressive because blue's making militia. But I think there's a very good chance that these are gonna be escorts. These guys are just waiting for a job, but I do not think that Blue is going to have the confidence to move out. All right, now this is my advice when it comes to arriving to the next stage. Let's say you don't have any build orders. And I know people out there, you like to think you have a build order, but then you just kind of go on your own path. Make sure you gain something from the next age, okay? Otherwise, just stay in your current age. There are a lot of people who go to feudal and... They just don't do anything with it. And then it's not worth the resources spent and the time you can't create villagers. So we see the farm upgrade for blue. And by escort, I meant they will escort the scout or villagers to an area. I did not mean escort in the T90 Crete fashion. Get your mind out of the gutter chat, but I probably should have used different words. Um, so yeah, we have the wood upgrade and the farm upgrade. And to this, I say, this is awesome. I like this. Okay, now blue needs to make houses. The last time blue made houses, there was four in a box. Are we going to see four in a box again? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we're seeing the same thing at Red's base. Wait a second. Was Red the player we we uh, casted a month ago with the, the beautiful house layout on Valley? Or what was it? It was Italians against Britons. Do you guys remember that? Okay. More houses. I don't know if it's the same player, but he went box, 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 and then he had houses in a line like this. Kind of like a V. But this is a nice game so far, and as I expected, this is your just-in-case army from Blue. The Blue has a defense just in case the enemy shows up. Hmm. Hey, remember that old Lel episode with the tri-house strategy? This is the quad-house strategy. The quad house strategy is a little more common. That other guy, I forget his name, made his houses off center consistently. It was so weird, but it was so amazing. <laughs> the tri house player. Hey, sir. Okay, what in the. Where is Red going right now? Whoa, my. Okay. All right, so Auto Scout has been scouting and has done its job and has located. Forward gold and forward stone. And red did not pass up on the opportunity to take this. Ace of emerald strategy, sure. To try and take all the extra stone and gold first. I kind of like it. 
I mean, if you're going to travel long distance for wood, you might as well make it fair and travel long distance to Golden Stone, too. And it's a good mining camp. I think most of the villagers go to the gold, though, because it's one tile closer to the gold. Yeah. So we'll see if red wants stone and notices that they have to be clicked there. Yeah, so we had farms this way. Farms this way, and then we had more houses in the front of that one player's base. I don't know if this is the same player. Double barracks in the back. I guess this is to hide this strategy from the enemy. Oh, and is it going to be double archer range back here as well? That's cute. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Red got the farm upgrade. Uh, I'm not sure where these villagers are going. We didn't have the wood upgrade yet, but doesn't have the resources for the wood upgrade. Okay, there's the wood upgrade. It really bothers me there's no lumber camp for these villagers, but I think he's probably going to make farms with them soon. And blue did not pick Cummins for the second town center. Uh, I, I don't... Maybe it was random sieve. I don't really know or see a reason why blue would have picked this sieve. But I am curious if blue's auto scout will find the gold. Yeah, this, this auto scout is eventually going to find this. And I think it's possible that Blue might notice things and send the man-at-arms there to shake things up. All right, are we going to have double stable now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. We want When we want military, we want options with our military. Okay, people? It's not about streamlining things. And, oh, I'm going to pick this unit, and I'm going to get upgrades, and I'm going to kill everything. No. That's not how this game is played anymore. It's instead... I want to have things available because this is going to get stressful at some point. This is called planning ahead. And it's also very, very uh, satisfying <laughs> as the auto scout has scouted this. And wait a second. Look at this for a second. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It was a bug. Yeah, he cannot see the mining camp. So blue has more men at arms now. Blue has a lot of idle villagers and needs to make farms. Blue is now making scouts. Uh-oh. We're going to see an attack here. And wait a second. The auto scout from Red has just located these military buildings. And this is as Blue's a scout attacked. And Red's making additional mills for far farm efficiency? Red's going to have the most efficient farms ever. Okay, the enemy has arrived, so naturally Blue's units all chase. Naturally, all Blue's citizens hide inside the town center. <laughs> and the scout has been... Nope, that hasn't been dealt with quite yet. Akuman scouts are a little faster, so that... Okay, the, the threat has been avoided. Now, notice the panic that just set in for both of them. The second the enemy came into the equation, their TCs just froze. Like, they don't know what to do. Uh, blue and blue in particular just dropped off with build production recently. I think he, he's focusing on his military, and he actually grouped up and accidentally brought a villager. I think he selected stuff like this. So if he, if he goes to attack, he's gonna bring a vill in. Oh no, he noticed. Okay, he noticed. Whew, that was close. Yeah, uh, what? You can't really for some reason when villagers fight, they can't use their garden tools. They end up using this little mallet they have, but they can't use their bow and arrow. They can't use their hoe. Or their, or their, I, I'm not really, I don't have great farm vocabulary. I don't know what the other tools are. Their rake, their shovel, their, who knows. Supplies for bread. Um, I suppose that's a just in case he wants to make man at arms thing. And oh my goodness, these farms. And now stone walls. Hmm. Lumberjacks are completely exposed. Golden stone is completely exposed. But Jose Miguel's like, well, I hope they don't attack. Because if they do, I will feel pain. And ding, 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 town bell. Now, there's only farmers and a few lumberjacks at the town. The other people are getting paid for travel work. And so they're out of here as Blue runs away. And I was actually decent scout micro if that was intentional. Now, look at this. This is hilarious. Blue can't find the lumberjacks because they're not here. And now, Red just goes double spearman, bada bing, bada boom, and Red's going to clear up the scout threat. So Red's strategy might look ridiculous, 
but it actually works for the people he faces at this elo. Huh. As more villagers come over here. <laughs> the more villagers out of the town, the better, I suppose. Okay, now again, blue still got an auto scout out there, and blue might notice some red dots on the minimap. And we see a second TC! I was wondering if we'd see it from Kumans. So Hernan did plan, kind of. 26 minute second TC boom isn't really a boom. But you know what? We'll count it as something and... It's a little far from both the stone and the gold. Which does bother me, I'm sure you guys know. But in Blue's eyes, it's, it's equally close to both instead of equally far from both. So that scene is a positive. Eventually that TC will complete and now we have a box of houses again. Yeah. Scouts go down. Now, spearmen get wrecked by man-at-arms. So this time, Blue says, Ha ha! I've got a plan for you. And Blue definitely seems to be the more aggressive player. Red is extremely reactive. Red is a SimCity player who decided to play online, basically. Um, and now we have the attack as Blue misclicks the farm and gives Red time to run away. Okay, now all the farmers go idle. That's a problem. And now what is Red going to make? Okay, Red is making Spearmen, but also making Men at Arms now. So matching what the enemy has is, is also a great way to counter. But the timing is going to be a problem. If you're fighting with fewer units, Blue's always going to win the fights. And Blue should wreck in these engagements. So Blue just needs to let his army do his thing. He keeps clicking. He's giving Red free hits here. Oh! Oh! Stop! Oh! Ah! Okay. All right. Red's doing the same thing, so it's fine. Um, Blue wants to destroy the barracks. Red popped out with a couple extra units here. And Blue's anti-micro-micro. Micro. Stop clicking! Okay, well, Blue just lost the fight. That is, that is common at even higher elos where players try and do too much. Just let your units engage. Let them, let them fight. It's like, you know how when you were growing up and your mom would always be like, now, son, do it this way. You're like, mom, let me, let me be an adult when you're like 10 and you're mowing the lawn or whatever. Like, don't helicopter parent your units, okay? Let your kids, or in this case, your man-at-arms, go to war and fight the way they want to fight. Are we going to ever see Castle Age? Okay, we are. Blue's on the way to Castle Age, so this is, this is good. Um, red is making some highly ambitious walls with one single villager. Speaking of vills, we have not had any vill kills in this game. Um, we don't have any blacksmith upgrades. And Red wants to make a market, a blacksmith, and now four houses. It all looks quite nice, I have to say. But Red doesn't have a lot of urgency. <laughs> I mean, Red, Red, go up. Stonks it, please. Thank you. There we go. Speaking of stonks, oh man, the farm efficiency. That food count is going up and up and up. Not only does Red have more farms than the enemy... But they're more efficient than the enemy. But the vill count's going up for blue. Check this out. Blue's on the way to Castleage with this TC. And creating villagers from this TC. So I guess that's needed because blue had a, an, awfully time, an awful time keeping villagers producing throughout the early game. But we have stone income. We have gold income. Food income. Wood income. Everything for blue. I guess it's everything for red as well. But it's not the most... It's not, it's not quite as... Um, high when it comes to stone. Hmm. Who would you bet on here? I mean, there's no way red ever gets this fully walled. I guess what red wants to do is wall here and then wall here eventually. I like how the spearmen are protecting these bills, but there's just no way red ever gets fully walled. Um, Blue's the more aggressive player. Red's economy is a little better. I feel like the aggressive player is the player who we should favor. Even though people are probably rooting for red, I think that red is the underdog. Do you sometimes ponder the absurdity of stream of viewer relationships? In the last three years, I've heard you talk more than my own father. I know more <laughs> about your life than some friends. That's... A, I mean, next game, Forest, nothing. That's interesting. Yes, you have heard me speak. In the last three years, you've heard my voice more than your father's voice. 
and you know more about my life than most of your friends. But think about it from the other perspective. I've spoken to strangers on the internet about my life more than my father. <laughs> That's, it's weirder on my side. Uh, trust me. Uh, thank you uh, for the three years, LSR. Okay, we've got an AI army, folks. We've got a mix of everything except for a knight. Uh, we've got scouts. We've got camel. We've got men-at-arms. We've got archer. We've got skirms. How can we lose when we have everything? We just cannot be countered. That's what Blue's thinking. Oh, my. Where are the vills? Who's building that? Okay, we have three villagers walking forward. And Blue is not going to attack. Blue wants map control. And it's funny that he's placing this castle because he has no idea Red's trying to wall in what I believe will be that direction. Yeah. None whatsoever. But it will block the wall, which might ruin Red's day. Um, Red is getting lots of blacksmith upgrades right now. Red is now venturing this way with villagers and is going to do something. I highly doubt Red's going to build a forward castle. Hey, also, uh, I think this is where Red is focusing right now, and Red's going to hear a hur -hur, the attack noise in a second when the scout... Wait, no, that's a new scout. Oh, no. Red sent a scout to the corner so he could see what was down here, and he's actually going to lead Blue's army right to him. Well, it's just one camel. Oh. It, oh. <laughs> Did you... That was so funny. First off, we had the moonwalking scout. <laughs> then we had... The camel running from the scout as if he was somehow afraid of it. <laughs> and red is red has found stone. Okay. And red also wants to get this gold hey, with one villager. Red is getting man at arms, getting or sorry, longsword and pikemen. We're probably gonna see double siege workshop, double university, double monastery back here. What red likes to do, but man, this position. See, what Red's going to do is he's going to make military to counter whatever Blue throws at him and chase it. And Blue can just run right back to his castle. I don't think Red's going to be very confident about this situation. And by the time Red reacts with all this, because his army's in the freaking back of his base, he could lose so many villagers. This is what I meant. Red is a more relaxed player. And he, as Blue's attacking the mill... And Red will save all the villagers. <laughs> Red's just not going to have the time to react. That's why you make the second mill. Oh my god, it makes sense. That's why he made a second one. If he only had one mill, that never would have happened. Okay. Now, it might be good in your eyes to have a mix of units. But Blue doesn't have upgrades on all these unit types. And Blue definitely is not going to be able to control six different unit types. And Blue likes to helicopter parent his units, or helicopter micro, or anti-micro. And so Blue gets forced back. But this is what I meant. If Red continues to go this way, Red's going to run into a castle. So Red's probably terrified. As the bell is, is unrung and the villagers go back to work. Red just needs to drop a castle of his own right here, though. That's the key. Drop your own castle and keep your farmers protected. I also am very curious on if Red is going to repair the mill. Yeah, this unit, these units are so weak for blue. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> no! See, they're running at the speed of the slowest unit because he's using them all at once, so... The camels are not having a great time. They're usually fast. Okay, well, blue has a villager lead. Um... And that's, that's pretty much where we're at right now. We, we somehow have not seen any villagers go down. I think both players are frozen on their current vill count because it's now fighting time and they're very afraid. Red loves to take all the extra resources, which is smart. But why not drop a castle and protect yourself here, man? You have enough stone for two castles. What are you saving it for? As Blue's on his way to Imp. Oh, boy. Now, red dropping a castle here would just be a target for blue's trips. This castle spot is perfect for blue. As we're going to see um, hip checks, which don't have fletching, by the way. 
Uh, this upgrade is, is, um, I think that's Kuman Mercenaries? That's gotta be Kuman Mercenaries, which means your Cav Archers and your Hussars produce faster. Interesting use of the unique tech. Puff the Magic Dragon says, Blues Micro hurts my soul. I'm, I'm sorry that your soul is hurt. And Red is repairing the mill. Is repairing the mill. Woohoo! Okay. So I thought Red might do this because Red's the type of player who wants the base to look pretty. And this actually is just a waste of wood. But Red didn't like it that the mill was on fire. It really uh, demoralized the people. And now we're going to have a castle in the back! Which kind of makes sense if Blue's making forward castles on the way to Imp, but of course he doesn't know that. Hey, Blue wants to make another castle. Red can see this and stop this. Uh, and yeah, I got the unique text confused. I'm sorry about that, but Red, are you going to have the guts here? I know online AoE is a very scary place. That's at 60% right now. You do not want to let this complete. Okay, sending in the rams is fine to take it down after it's up. But what about the villagers building it? Okay, here... I mean, if he denies it at 99%, that's more wasted stone. Okay, he's now clicked the building, which I was afraid of. Oh, no. He probably used everything and just clicked the building. Okay, the rams are here. The pikemen are going after the villagers. You're kidding me. 95%! Calculated. Calculated. So it's just wasted stone for blue. And blue is rushing to the Imperial Age, but blue doesn't have... Blue doesn't have blacksmith upgrade. So he's in him, but he's fighting with... With crappier than Castle Age units. Whereas red has all the blacksmith upgrades. Now that's a lot of kip checks, and you always have to worry about that. But considering there's not even fletching yet, and skirms are here... Oh, Blue is panicking. Blue doesn't know what to do. The castle crashes. And now I just wonder if Red is going to push this. If, will Red go in? Will Red be confident dropping a castle to protect the farmers? What happens from here? Because pushing castles is not easy. You need probably five rams. Yes, uh, it is nice to see Dow playing today. Didn't think we'd be seeing him on a Tuesday. Blue panicking with the rams. Clicked a lot of units after the ram. But ultimately, that still will work. Red will lose everything that he's sending in, I think, to the castle fire. Though we don't see the murder holes upgrade yet. We have Cavalier being researched somewhere for blue. I don't even know which stable he's researching Cavalier in, but there's only one knight. Okay. Wow. Well, blue thought, wow, we're good. I'm going to be in the Imperial Age, and I'm going to win this game, and I'm going to treble him down. This guy's a noob. Red thought, I don't even want to win. I just told my farmers to die and protected his people. This castle back here is protecting the gold that's not being used. Red does have another ram, and Blue did take out that ram. So as we thought, Red will end up losing everything, and we end up having a pretty even game here. Still, Blue has more villagers, but Red has more resources. And better long-term resources, too. More on food. Less on gold right now, but man, has collected so much gold in this game. So the problem is their economies are so fragile at 50 eco. They can't really do anything really, really well. <laughs> um, but Blue's gone for the option approach, which has helped. And Blue is producing another batch. I said Blue, I meant to say Red. Okay, so Hernan makes it all the way to Imp and decides to try and go for a champion tech switch. So he just had longsword complete. We have a Treb. We have... What are those? Kip checks? Oh, Cavalier. Okay, Cavalier, longsword. I mean, longsword is quite good against the pikemen and the skirms. Ideally, you'd have champion, but he doesn't really have the eco for that. Now, what would be good is... You just take a deep breath of your blue, focus on your economy for a couple minutes. But I think he's probably not going to do that, as we actually have him sending villagers this way to chop wood. And Red's pikemen are killing the bills. Oh my. Is his gather point set there? Let's see. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh my god. Blue will never notice this. Two villagers down already. 
He's trying to boom, but the freaking pikemen are there. He will never notice that. He's probably so distracted on the front right now. Who would expect pikemen to be in the corner? I mean, really. Hey, thank you, Noobtastic the Third. I love your username for the new Prime sub and welcome. All right, so Red's on the way to Imp. Red is, oh no, he's lost his beautiful houses. Okay, so that's gonna make him angry. I think what motivates Red is not victory, but but defending his people and his efficiency. <laughs> I love that. With auto farm, when you lose a farm to a treb, the farmer will immediately rebuild one. Right? Hello? Hello? Uh -huh. Never mind. I don't know why it didn't happen, but usually that's what happens. Does Blue have loom? Uh, yes, he does. No, he no, no. Blue does not have loom. Does Red? Yeah. Red does. Okay, Red does. I swear, if Blue trickles in another unit here, I'm gonna scream. Blue, be patient, man. Be patient. Just relax. Players get so stressed, and they just keep sending in units one after the other. Okay, Red's gonna get the farm upgrade. Um, Red is sending another army around the wood line here. Good, good, good. Two rams. I don't know if that's the the number that Red really likes, but... Can we appreciate how the ram is driving through the town? Can we appreciate that? Oh my word. Okay. Blue does not like Red to have efficient farms. We've seen that before, so... Has just trebbed down the mill. That's one way to raid the enemy's economy. Pikeman update. Blue stopped creating bills altogether, so the pikemen didn't get any more kills. Um, red will need houses pretty soon. And also, without the blacksmith, won't be able to get more blacksmith upgrades. Blue is going for a good unit line with good upgrades. Has armor and attack for Castle H. Two-handed swordsman is very good against trash units. The only thing I'd say is if Teutons make Teutonic Knights, Teutonic Knights yeah. are the ultimate infantry unit. And so trash units and these numbers combined with Teutonic Knights would probably win against two-handed swordsmen. I have to, I think two-handed swordsmen have 60 HP and I think it's 11 base attack. Pacing? These guys have 12 base attack and they have 80 HP as standard Teutonic Knights. So like, Standard Teutonic Knights are way better um, than two-handed swordsmen. Okay, again, the farmer. <laughs> it's all going to go down right here. Will we see our first vil kill of the game? Oh, it's not our first vil kill. What am I talking about? Feels like a first successful raid of the game. Okay, for blue, finally he gets some kills. Good stuff. So, this is going to even out the farm count, as it's now going to be something like 14 farms for both players. And Red is losing a good portion of his eco, right? His, his farm eco is idle now. He probably won't send those villagers back to work until he feels like the situation's been cleared up. He might not be able to clear up the situation here, guys. Skirmishers are very ineffective against Cavalier. They're very ineffective against the two-handed swordsman. But we're not seeing the two-handed swordsman. We got crossbows in there for blue. Red's brought the treb forward, which is not going to work. And Jose Miguel has no farmers working. We'll have no skirmishers remaining. Blue has imp units. That's the difference. Cavalier. Two-handed swordsman. Red is making skirmishers and pikemen. There are two Tonic Knights inside of that ram. Red's going to make more pikemen and skirmishers. Again, he's he's running on limited food right now. Blue's economy is working wonderfully at home. The units just are not very good at what's Red, what Red is fighting with right now. And that is Red's only town center. And all the farmers are in there. Now, they'll actually go right back to the farms, too, if the TC goes down. At least I believe so. Or they'll just do it beforehand. <laughs> Oh, no, they're going back home. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. This is going to be sick. Red is in big trouble. But can Red, as we see the eco and military APM here, somehow do this? The TC will go down, but I think that with the upgrades Red has 
and the lack of upgrades on blue's ranged units that red could actually clear these trebs out and live to fight another day you just have to fight with everything and don't click the trebs first clicking the trebs first is a big mistake because you're not trading against their military that's what you need look at that he doesn't even get the treb and loses 15 units you need to take their military first and then if you get the military the trebs are there but oh look at the capes look at the capes the capes are here and the KP boys my favorite unit of all time will do the job it's amazing what happens when you actually fight the units but it is really a good unit to fight with the trebs go down red maintains the score lead and ladies and gentlemen both players are going to be at around 60 pop this is a very even game and we just have a new town center for red and he's just going to go right back to business working wow and now red if he wants to could use trebs and counterattack and push that castle <laughs> and blue might be thinking man that unit is op <laughs> i really wish players would take my advice and not push castles with two or three rams go with like five and you're good five and some units and you're good now wait a second blue doesn't have murder holes at least i don't think so so the ram will not get hit by anything okay never mind the champion will be made for that yeah that should be dealt with the teutonic knights are stuck okay but there is a treb now kind of protected it's protected by the tree uh by the shade from the tree is blue gonna lose this oh wait no he's making cavalier out of this stable well I mean, it needs three more hits, so that will go down. Yeah, it needs two more hits after this. Oh, God, and Blue's going to drop another one there. Well, actually, Blue dropping another one there is fine, because Blue... Red only has one Teutonic Knight. I wish Blue would fight the Teutonic Knight first, especially because it's weak. But, yeah, I think that castle spot's going to be okay. And Red's going to have to ex expand more. Red is like... Um, Red is kind of like a turtle who never wants to leave his shell. He he gets he gets perturbed when you when you screw with him, and then he goes right back into his shell. Oh wow! Okay, Red with the great pikeman raid, continuing his his amazing raids as he actually killed twenty five vills in this game with pikeman. <laughs> who said pikeman weren't a raiding unit? Who said you needed to make light cav or hussar to raid? Nope. Just pick Tutans and just make Pikemen. Trust me, you'll be good. Okay. Um, I, I feel like I should take this phone call, but I also know this is going to be a legendary game for YouTube. So YouTube, if my real life goes down the down the toilet because I'm not taking important calls today, um, you're welcome. Hmm. Okay, so the next attack is coming soon. Very even vil counts. They probably... There's a time for booming and economy, and there's a time for fighting. This is a time for fighting. Because Blue's going to make another castle. Because, you know, let's just commit everything to the same spot where you just lost another castle. All right. But he's putting more focus here. He's making scouts for some reason. He's making crossbows for some reason. He does not have blacksmith upgrades on the ranged units. Which is concerning because he's making a lot of them and they're gold units not like they're trash units hey hell i'm sorry i ignored your call thank you skull candy by the way for 16 months of support and thanks to everyone for showing up today and playing your part okay lumber camp goes down for blue which means in about 10 minutes he's going to forget that bad things happened here and he's going to go over there <laughs> that's my prediction Okay, we're not seeing any trebs for blue. There, he's kind of at the limit. So is red, honestly. As we've had zero relics collected. He only has a couple units on gold. So it's kind of tough to make anything but trash units and trebs. And it takes a long time. Red is definitely ahead in economy. I don't know if that wood is going to count for anything. As we see more houses. But just the farms alone is going to help. With the wood bank. Because you, he's gonna make skirms. He's gonna make uh, pikemen. You need wooden food for that. 
Blue probably thinks at this point, champion doesn't work. He teched a champion and he thinks, oh, it doesn't work. I died. But champion's actually what he needs. Otherwise, I think he's dead here. If you're making Cav, you're going to die to the pikemen. If you're making archers, well, he doesn't have upgrades, which is the biggest problem. But he would die to skirms. Champion is the way to counter a mixed army comp like that. Red just has more army, more upgrades. And he actually has something that will match the enemy champions decently well in Teutonic Knights. I think he's going to put them in rams, though. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was wondering why he was sending them this way. He even made a fifth, because only five can fit in a ram. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, there he goes. You don't want to make more than that, because you don't have enough ram space for them, and they can only be in rams. Oh, wait. You can only fit... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say... There they are. And a second trebuchet. Jose means business now. And what's Blue doing? Hmm. Blue? Is Blue making anything? Oh, Blue is pikemen. Okay, so Blue made some champions and made some pikemen. So we're just getting a mix of units. And I think the blacksmith has been forgotten about at this point. And you don't necessarily know exactly what the enemy is going to send your way. So in their eyes, make everything. Make everything you can think of. The both players not adding eco. Both players focusing on the incoming fight. And I think the game, as we have a new blacksmith market area for red, it used to be here. I think the game will be decided with this next engagement. And for blue, he's going to need greater numbers. Than he has currently. I like how the uh, original lumber that camps are still it. standing. And we get the wood upgrade. <laughs> Out of which lumber camp? Does he have a new one? Seriously, where is that upgrade? The forward upgrade. Okay. Forward two-man saw upgrade. Ah. It's to chop the enemy wood. <gasps> Blue remembered. Okay, so Blue arrives to the mining camp where Red is taking gold and stone. No, wait, he was doing that an hour ago. Next game, okay, forest, well, he knows the strategy. Game. It's the timing on it that's wrong. And now we have uh, uh, champions and pikemen here to protect, but I don't think they know. Oh, God. I don't think he knew exactly what was over here. But he will defend from this, and if he's lucky, Blue's units will find Red's units, and Red will be behind in villagers even more then. I mean, salutes to the pikemen. They really put up a good fight. This also might stress out Red. There's a lot of attack signals on his screen right now. Yeah, and these villagers will go down as you see Hernan selling food to get gold. You could also use that food to create villagers and send them to gold. Uh, just, just an idea, but Red also, with more villagers dying here, Red is taking losses that I don't think we expected him to take because we never thought Blue would look elsewhere in this area right here. And now Red only has 5,000 wood. Okay, Red is making more Teutonic Knights. Again, that is the go-to unit. And now Red is housed. Very close to having the stone for another castle, as Red has been loading up these rams with Teutonic Knights. I think we're going to see four houses in a box again. Yep, one, two, <laughs> three, four. <laughs> Come on, give me, give me five, six, seven, eight. Come on, continue this house trend. It's beautiful. Well, I mean, that still looks really nice. So, that will work out. Uh, there's no rush in Red's town, so... Here comes the villager. Oh, blue blue is starting off the fight. I wasn't expecting that. I thought that red would push and blue would be waiting, but I guess red has been the aggressor for the most part this game. And this is not going to be a fight that red wins. Depends on the micro here, but I think there's just too many upgrades for red. Oh my! Red misclicked with his pikes! He's using pike. I mean, he's using skirmishers like their pikes. Ah! No! Jose! Jose just threw the fight a little bit. We have crossbows without even fletching. But they're doing the job against the pikes, and Red needs the two tonic knights now. Oh, he took out the trebs, though. 
Wow. I mean, at what cost, but still, he was somehow able to take out the Trebs. The Cavalier and the Champions are on the farms. Red decides to get the Ballistics upgrade as his town is falling apart. Um, concerning, as we now see Masonry as well, which will give him additional HP on his buildings. Blue is going to regroup here. And Blue actually has none on gold. So Blue cannot push with Trebs because Blue does not have gold income. Now, from Blue's point of view, there's gold here. From Blue's point of view, there's gold here. Or there was. Um, Blue should not sell at the market for gold at this point. Should send villagers to mine gold, but might be way too tunnel vision for that. Wait a second. Why is Blue making an additional market? We just saw Blue use the market. Oh! <gasps> there's a market there for red. I swear, if Blue trades with the enemy, I'm going to lose my mind. It's very weird to me that he would use a market and then instantly create another one. But it is possible. Here, actually, let's investigate this. I have an idea. He places it and then uses it. That's my guess. Let's see. I think what happened was he's like, didn't I have one of those before? see this isn't going backwards as fast as i wanted to yeah so he places it and then he uses it remembering that he had the other one and he just never canceled it yeah you see that so yeah um that don't get your hopes up about the trade i think that that's what happened he just has two markets now speaking of selling at the market it would make a whole lot of sense for red to maybe sell some wood Red is getting chemistry now and is repairing the castle with a lot of villagers. Okay. We're now at normal speed. So we're back in business. Uh, red is... What happened in the minimap? What is that? Why is everything blurred? That's very weird. Did I do something? Did I... Ah! I think I bugged out capture age. Um... But anyways, it seems like all the relevant things are lit up in blue now. So, I, I maybe it's some update they put out that looks weird now. I, I think I did that, actually, with the with bending the laws of time, yes. A two-handed swordsman for red, so he's going to upgrade the little long swords he has. Uh, again, for me, I think the key is Teutonic Knights for red. And red can only play defensive for so long. Blue continues to threaten, and Blue has more military units. And guys, I think Hernan can do this. Check this out. We're going to see him commit towards the Trebs just like he did previously, which bought him time. We'll get one Trebuchet. There's still another one there for Blue. Red now desperately clicks this Trebuchet, just terrified of what's to come. Terrified of what would happen if that castle were to crash. And that castle will fall. It will take two more volleys. We'll take one and will not survive the second one. And red needs to defend things now. One hour and 20 minutes in, the, the crucial farming eco is getting raided. Ah! Blue packed up the treb! He was one hit away. He packed up the treb. No! It was a misclick. I think he I think he grouped up everything on his screen to click it back here or something. And now it's running this way. The repair villager lives. And oh no. The trebuchet will die, and Blue... <laughs> Blue, what did he click here? Oh my god, what is this game? Red survives. Oh. And I think maybe what he did to try and save the situation or salvage the situation <laughs> was defend the treb with his other units because they ran in towards the treb. Oh my goodness. Now, I've done that before. I, not like that. But I have accidentally grouped up my treb with my military and tried to click my military forward. And my treb obeyed. I've I've made that mistake. So I can relate uh, to an extent. But what a blunder. And red survives. Somehow. Uh, Jenna says everyone here is a paid actor. Admit it. I'm sorry. I can't admit to something that's not true. That's the thing about low elo. You just can't make it up. There's just so many ridiculous things that happen that you cannot make up. 
And now if you think of the situation, Red is able to, if he were to push, take out both these castles. Blue is going to make another trip. But Blue, it took him so... Think of how many crossbows he lost. So much gold was put into that army. The Trebs, the Kipchaks, the Cavalier. He is none on gold and is only selling resources for gold. Because I guess he can't see this or notice this. Okay, I have to figure out why Capture Age is doing this, though. Does anyone know? I guess you guys are like, you should know. Why, why won't you know this? This is your job. I can't... Even the relics don't show up on the minimap, which is bothering me. Here, actually, is it okay? No, 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 no. If I restart Capture Age, that's a horrible mistake. No, we'll be fine. You highlighted all military. Yeah, I can see that. It's similar to... It looks like that, but how do I... I'm not asking what is on my screen, because I, I can see that. I need to know how to change it. All F4? Okay, I could try that with you in my Twitch chat if you want. There's a, there's a way we can get you out of Twitch chat. Okay, so, three Rams. Hey, yeah. sir. Uh, 11 Teutonic Knights, five are in the Rams. One is next to the castle, protecting the repair villager, naturally. He's overseeing the job. This is actually a slave. Sorry, yeah. that's more accurate. He's, uh... He's gonna repair that castle, that's hard work. Blue not having gold, the thing, so let's make scouts, which I suppose is good logic if you don't have gold. And don't tell me halberdiers are going to take out the freaking trebuchet you just made, Blue. Repair it! No! Man, not having fletching on the castle hurts so much. That is very rare that halberdiers could go in there. But also, full defense upgrades from red. Blue's probably just going to go, okay, let's sell some more food. But I don't think that Blue can do that for too long. This is This is so much gold. But they're frozen, guys. And the crazy thing here is red's down to 27 vils. <laughs> red has half the eco of blue. <laughs> oh my god, who's gonna win? Someone says, I felt blue will win because red's too passive. Yet blue does mistakes and normally... Oh, he says, yes, blue does mistakes, but normally the more aggressive guy wins. Well, yes and no. Um... You do need to have eco to back it up. And normally I would look at these stats and say that blue is the eco to back it up. But he has 10 idols and he's not he refuses to take gold. So. And red does a really good job of keeping his eco. I mean, his eco is just more solid overall. And he, he produces units faster than blue. So I honestly think that blue is going to continue to be aggressive. And he's going to run out of gold. And red's going to hold on. That's where I'm thinking. And Red seems to be very patient with his Teutonic Knights. Like he's hiding the fact that he has this. Hey, sir. And he's slowly building up to a point where he can go for the killer blow. This is the army that defends. This is the army that will win the war. Huh. Alt M until the minimap gets normal. Okay. Oh my goodness, you're my savior. Thank you, Zin Ricky. Nice. Okay, that looks back to uh what we we're looking for. Blue's gonna place a new lumber camp. Okay, so we know Blue's looking around the map. What? And Red's placing a lumber camp at the exact same time. You might think T90, that's not a big deal, okay? It's just a lumber camp. But listen, when they only have so many actions per hour, that is a big deal. What are the odds? So, um, they, I, we'll see if they find each other. That might happen in uh, the next hour. But... We know Blue focused on that before. He doesn't focus on the gold on his mini-map, but he focuses on the red that pops up. So I think he might notice that. Is he still selling food for gold? Man, may if he could just make a mining camp here or a town center or something. Or if you're going to do this, make sure you're making... Okay, he's making skirms now. Yeah, use what gold you get from selling to get trash unit upgrades. Like Light Cav and Elite Skirm. Thank you, user, for the 15. He says, next game, low elo force nothing. I'm going to decline on that. Because this is too good. Also, I like how Red's just saving all this gold for later. Blue doesn't have gold, and is just like, I need that. Maybe it's a classic case of a king being too greedy. 
But sire, why shall we attack the enemy when we have gold at our base? Have you seen their stockpile? They will destroy us in no time if we do not fight. It's probably something like that. The people are like, this is the natural move. And the king's like, nope, just give me all your women and children and we're going to send them out into the battlefield for my war. Thank you. Murder holes! Oh my god. Well, that would have been helpful earlier, but um, hey, at least we know that Blue remembered a few things here. We got murder holes out of the university. Maybe Blue will remember about the blacksmith. All right, now when the Treb pops out, that's going to be the ultimate scout for Blue, and he can see what Red has. He should look at that and be very afraid. You should not fight that. Now, he doesn't really understand Unicoms. He doesn't know. The best way to know is to fight. Will he fight, or will he understand that that's a little terrifying? Oh, no. I didn't actually think. Hey, sir. All right, well, here comes the Treb. We've seen this all before. Blue's going to run forward. He likes to be aggressive. Now, Red likes to click Siege. But he, he did not manually... Oh, now he manually clicked the Siege. If he clicked it with everything, he's in trouble. No! Everything I want to say, think the opposite, okay? When I say someone should win a fight, they'll lose the fight. When I say someone should lose the fight, they'll win the fight. The Treb is down... We've seen this all before, and both players are going to lose their armies. And then Blue is going to eventually lose this one, I guess. And then sell food. Oh, he's on gold. Oh, my, my, my life has changed. The whole game's changed. He's on gold, people. He's on gold. He can afford to toss away one treb at a time now. Kumar for friends. So stop yelling. I am trying to work. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but yelling is a part of my job. And that's what I'm here to do today. Yell and freak out. How can I not? This is ridiculous. Small apologies to anyone who's trying to use my content for a nap right now. Thank you. That makes me feel very great about the effort I put in. But I might be loud. Thank you. Okay, so every so often, Red will make a ram. And then he'll make five Teutonic Knights. Here's five more. No! Did Blue just give up? Or did he disconnect? That has to be a disconnect. Right? I mean, he has been running into this brick wall that is Jose for about an hour and a half, which is a very long time. So it is reasonable that maybe, as I'm going to check in the game, see if it says anything. Nope. Maybe he, um... Maybe he just got tired of it. So I, I'm 50-50 on this one. But one would also think that he would get excited about the gold and then with the gold make different units and have more confidence because of that. I mean, maybe the gold was cursed. I don't know. Well, geez, man. The only offensive thing that Jose Miguel did in this game was put three pikemen in the corner and accidentally kill villagers. That is the only offensive thing Red did with military this game. In 90 minutes... We didn't have a scout rush. We didn't have an archer rush. We didn't have pikemen intentionally sent anywhere. Nope. They just sat in the corner and just waited for blue to come towards them. And the rest that red did was wait. Sit back and wait. Beautiful house setup. Beautiful farm setup. Did he make his castles in front of his farms to keep the, the people protected? Nope. The castle was behind everything. I, I'm less upset about this drop. Because I think Jose would have won. Do you guys agree? He had, at this point, 22 Teutonic Knights. He had three Trebs. He would have, when he decided to push this, steamrolled this. The castles would have gone down. The buildings would have gone down. There's be no chance for blue. And I don't see blue really making any proper tech switches. Now, blue has 59 villagers. But it's not like red is really hurting when it comes to wood. Uh, I guess gold would have been an issue soon. Who knows? But I think that's still going to go to YouTube. My, oh my, what a game. A, a disappointing end there. But that was still so close. Look at that KD. <laughs> the amount of times <laughs> the players would freak out and click the siege, though. Oh, man. Like, honestly, a strategy might be to send siege in there. 
so the enemy attacks it and then immediately roll the trebs away use the use the trebs as runners in your armies um well here's what the economy looked like <laughs> four blue <laughs> blue with more wood more food more gold more stone he's probably like freaking tootins are so op man how do i beat that sieve he's probably writing up a reddit post right now um there's the technology stats he's faster to feudal, feudal faster to castle faster to imp in terms of overall society stats things still looked better for blue created more villagers in total had more villagers when the game ended and then here's the apm red spiked at the very end which might indicate that that's a disconnect uh and you always have to take some of this with a grain of salt i'm not sure what happened here this is probably when blue was was anti-microing his units <laughs> when he's like clicking them too much or something but based on everything we've seen here jose is a slower player jose is a worse economic player but i think you could make arguments that at least at this elo jose is a better strategic player he took forward golds before the enemy would find them um he played pretty solid defense and always had a response when blue showed up it could be better but it also could have been worse from him he at least seems to have an approach and also i don't think that he plays any other way there's no way this guy doesn't make his farms like this and his houses like this in other games this is a system and this is a system that jose probably uses every single time in low legends Blue's mom made him stop playing? Nah, please. <laughs> she, you, 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 her mom or his mom is probably just like, come on, son, beat that noob. He's not even, he's not even getting relics, son. What did I tell you? You're grounded. Get the relics. <laughs>